if, if you're a policymaker and you're thinking about, well, well, what needs to be done at this point? I mean, different countries have done different things depending on kind of their abilities to, to borrow and finance spending to replace income. Um, but going forward, I think all countries need to be focused on basically investments that will both get money out into the economy, but also um, lead to growth and inclusive growth over the longer run. And, and here's where data came in, comes in. Uh, you know, we really had kind of a, a revolution in the years leading up to the crisis uh, where we, we had all this kind of literature that um, kind of rigorously documented using data that there doesn't have to be a trade-off between um, growth and inequality. Whether it's poor countries or rich countries, uh, what we were seeing in the data was we were seeing not just the fact we were helping uh, people in the short run, we were leaving hardship in the short run, but 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 uh, using kind of big administrative data sets, we were seeing kind of effects that were lasting, uh, you know, for children all the way into adulthood, uh, basically kind of raising their ability to engage with the labor force. We know a lot of countries are budget constrained. We know a lot of countries want to make investments, both in ensuring, you know, reducing poverty and inequality today, thinking about future growth and all, you know, thinking about making a more level playing field for the next generation. And so the topics we hope to cover are such, such as, you know, how do we set up more adaptive and flexible social protection systems, which the COVID crisis, you know, taught us we really need, particularly, you know, hopefully we won't have a crisis this large again, but particularly in bad economic times. Um, we'll cover some of the topics around jobs and active labor market policy. You know, we know that traditional training programs that many countries do around the world often don't deliver the kind of results we want. So we'll try to brainstorm and think about different ideas and how to be more creative. What the evidence and data tells us about what we can try to do to start thinking about creating you know, more skilled workforce and trying to give people more opportunity. 